Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making Slovakian kolač, which is a festival bread served at Christmas and Easter in my family. So uh, what we're going to do is start by making the dough. This is basically a sweet dough, um, maybe very common to what you've seen if you're familiar with sweet doughs. Um, what we've got for liquids to start with is um, I have uh, taken about two cups of milk over here and have scalded it and then removed the uh, film that's on the top of it. And um, what that does is it uh, basically, if you're using a, a lot of sugar and a lot of fat in your dough, um, scalding the milk really encourages it to um, rise a little better and be a little bit more tender. I won't get into the science of that now, but anyway, that's why I do that. Scald the milk, then put in one stick of butter and a half of a cup of sugar and about a half of a tablespoon of vanilla. And once that cools down uh, a little bit, you want to keep it, get it down to about um, between 120 and 130 degrees, which it is right now. And um, that is the perfect temperature to use with the instant yeast, which is what I'm going to be using in this recipe. Uh, instant yeast goes into the flour dry, and then the hot liquid goes in on top of it. And that instant yeast is just a more vigorous yeast, and that heat from the uh, hot milk activates the yeast and you don't have to dissolve it in water or proof it. So this is not an active dry yeast, this is an instant yeast. So we are going to take four cups of flour to start here and put it into our bowl. Two. It's important to scoop into your three, into your cup with a Another utensil and then scrape off the top and that just makes sure that you get a good accurate measurement. Okay, there's four. And here is your tablespoon of yeast. If you're using packets, um, get, a, get a measuring cup like this and add packets of yeast until you get to one tablespoon. Uh, most yeast packets are like two and a quarter teaspoons, so you're going to need two packets if you've got packets instead of like, say, a jar. Here's the salt. That's a tablespoon of salt. Okay, tablespoon of yeast, tablespoon of salt. And we're just gonna basically mix this, these dry ingredients together like this. And before we add this hot milk, we're gonna take the next, probably most important ingredient here. And that would be eggs. This is two beaten eggs. And we are gonna temper this just a little bit by taking some of this hot milk and just pouring that in there. Hot, I shouldn't say hot milk, it's warm milk. Temper these guys just a little bit so that they don't cook or curdle when you put them in. Into the warm milk they go, give it a good stir, and then finally add all of this stuff right into your flour. Begin stirring. This is going to be fairly wet with just four cups. You're going to end up with probably six cups of flour total in your finished batch. I'm going to go ahead and add another cup of flour. So that's five right now. It's going to begin to sort of come together a little bit more and maybe start to pull away from the sides a little bit. That's good. That's what you want. And I think I'll add maybe just another half cup or so here before I take it out. looking good. Still a little sticky, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try to turn this out and start kneading it. I'm using uh, just a piece of sailcloth here and uh, I'm going to dust this with at least another good half cup of flour here. Having a cloth like this is really helpful when you're doing something like this, but you know, if you don't have a cloth like this, just use your countertop. Just make your countertop nice and clean and use that. Okay, now comes the fun part. You get to use your hands. So we are going to work this dough, and that's pretty sticky. I'm going to add, oh, another half cup or so on the top there. So what are you up to now? About six and a half cups, right? Which is probably about right. Okay, so what I do is sort of roll, gather, press lightly, especially in this stage, and then what I tend to do is reach over here on this one side, 
roll it up a little bit, give it a spin, and I'm just using very light touch on this now as I need this. Gather up the end, give it a twist, roll it out. I'm pushing away and down as I uh, need this, but I'm just I'm just using a very gentle light touch. And what's nice about working with um, instant yeast and, and really warm liquids is that this feels very warm now. This is sort of like a nice, very warm um, piece of dough to work with, and it's kind of fun. So I'm going to work this for about three minutes. Okay, we've given the dough a rest period after the first kneading of three minutes, and I've taken about a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and I've I've, I've cleaned out my bowl and now I'm greasing the bowl, just kind of by hand here. And once that's done, I'm going to kind of get back to kneading. We're going to do this another three minutes or so here. And um, while you're doing this, just add enough flour to basically keep it from sticking to you or the board. And um, I think in general with this recipe, it's good to just kind of go easy on the kneading. You know, it's a, it's a sweet dough, it's not a hearth bread, so, you know, just kind of, you want it to be light and, and airy, and the more you, you work it really hard, the sort of the more gluten is going to develop, which, I mean, you need to do that, but I've just found that if you, if you sort of take it easy, don't press as hard when you're doing sweet dough, I think it comes out a little bit lighter. Bread making is done by feel. But basically, you want to keep doing this. The general rule of thumb is until it springs back at you like that when you when you poke it. See how that's kind of coming back up at you. That's good. And um, I'm going to stop. I'm feeling like that's pretty good. And I'm going to stop. And we're going to put this in the bowl. Take your bowl. I'm going to take the uh, blob of dough here, turn it upside down, drop it down into the bowl there, give it a little spin, turn it over, and uh, basically leave that in there, nice and snug. And we're just going to cover this with uh, probably some plastic wrap, maybe a towel, and we're going to set that in a warm place to rise until it's doubled in bulk. Um, and so the next step is to make the fillings.